What's up, what's up, what's up dudes? It's Wurtzy, and for today's video, I am going to create a mask. I mean, a face mask. But this is not just a mask, dudes. Like, unlike any other mask that has colors and designs, this one is completely colorless and designless. Is that even a word, designless? Bruh. Comment down below. Help me please. But seriously guys, like literally, I will make a completely transparent mask. So if you guys want to know how I made this, then keep on watching. So first off, I am going to cut an 18 by 16.5 centimeters of plastic cover. And then I'm going to use my violet pen. <laughs> it doesn't matter what color it is actually, but this is the only pen that I can see near me. So yeah, but remember that it should be a technical pen so you will be able to remove it later. Uh, then just cutting it as precise as possible <laughs> because I'm bad at cutting things, you know. It always turns crooked and kind of wavy, so just making sure that I will not mess this up. And then I'm gonna use an alcohol and tissue to remove the ink of the technical pen. Then I'm gonna do like three folds to the 18 centimeter side. After that, I am going to grab the nylon string and just cutting the end of the nylon a little bit with like around a 45 degree angle so it will go through the needle hole smoothly. The nylon that I have right now is pretty thick. I'm not sure if there's like a different sizes of nylons, but yeah, the nylon that I have right now is pretty thick for the needle that I have so I'm kind of like struggling to pull it but if you guys know any alternative material to replace the nylon go for it and comment it down below I would love to know it and I would love to try it out and yeah I'm just pulling and pulling it till I have this super long nylon threaded on the needle <laughs> because I don't want to repeat the, the threading process because it's kind of challenging so my personal advice is to estimate the length of the nylon string that you're going to use for the whole process so you don't need to like do the threading over and over again and then i'm just locking the other end of the nylon here and there we go now we can start stitching so i want to start in the middle of the fold so that the nylon lock will be embedded inside the plastic cover and after that, I'm just going to continue stitching. If you're a first timer, you can do like one stitch at a time, just like what I'm doing right now. But if you're a pro and you're already used to this, you can do like two or more stitches at a time, just like this. It'll be awesome if you have a sewing machine. You will like save so, so much time doing this face mask. For the lock, just make a loop and just shoot the needle inside it and pull it. I'm gonna do it twice and that's it. I think it's locked. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, done stitching the other side. Let's move on to the next step. Now we can add some pleat to the mask. So I want to get the very center of the mask and then I am going to do like two pleats. Just removing the ink and then I am going to secure the pleats with stitching the sides of it. Now that our mask pleats are nice and secured, we can now proceed to adding some ear loops to the mask. So we will be needing like 2 24 centimeters of elastic strings. Actually, we just need like a total of 18 centimeters each side. But we need an extra length for the locking and we can always cut the excess but we can never extend the elastic string. So it's better to be too long than too short. 
All right, let's continue. I'm just doing the same thing that we did with the nylon right up in here. Also, the same thing that I did with the nylon locking thing, but with elastic string, you need to really pull it a little bit harder because it tends to like unlock itself if you don't. To attach it to the mask, do the first stitch to one end and then we are going to lock it to the other end. Before locking it, I'm just trying to make sure that the ear loop has a 9cm length when folded. After that, we can now continue and lock it. So to secure the lock, I just made a loop, removed the elastic string from the needle and put the end of the string into the loop and pull it. Then I'm just making some few loops here just to make sure that it will not unlock itself. And just repeat the same thing on the other side. So just taping the ear loops at the center of the mask so that they will stay in place because I am now going to move and secure the sides of the mask. But, but I don't recommend using a tape. I'll tell you dudes later. So here I'm just getting the height of the mask so I end up with 8.5 centimeters but I will go with 9 centimeters just to make sure, you know, we can always cut the excess later. So I'm cutting a 2, 3 by 9 centimeters of a plastic cover and cleaning it again with alcohol and tissue. Water break! <laughs> And always remember, drink em effin' water, pitches. Okay, let's continue. I'm just doing a single fold on both sides of the plastic cover and placing it on the side of the mask. After that, I'm gonna start stitching and I'm gonna start in the middle of the fold again. Before we continue stitching the rest, I wanna secure the ear loop by locking the elastic string in a loop so it will not move and to also maintain the semicircle shape of the ear loop. Once it's nice and secured, we can now stitch the hell out of it. And... Uh, my camera just decided to stop recording. So I'm gonna show you dudes how to lock it on the other side of the mask. Okay, now we are down to the other side of the mask. Don't forget to lock the elastic loop again. After that, we can now proceed on locking the stitch. To lock it, just simply make a loop and then let the needle pass inside it and then pull it. Then I will make another loop that is connected on the loop that we made earlier and just do the same thing. And this is why I don't recommend using tape dudes like, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the tape residue won't come off. So I decided to use oil to remove it and it's kind of effective. But still, do not use tape, okay? Do not. And that's it dudes, we are done making our very own transparent face mask. That's it dudes, I hope you guys learned from the tutorial that I did. It's super easy to do and you don't need any sewing skills or background to do this because me myself doesn't have any. But just a reminder, just be extra careful when you- Bruh. Gravy? Just, just be extra careful when you're using the needles because you might get pricked and we don't want that. This mask is completely washable and reusable, you can use an antibacterial soap or just spray alcohol and wipe it and you're good to go. I've decided to create this kind of mask like a transparent mask because I've noticed that wearing a mask really affects how we interact and communicate with other people. Like when you guys talk to someone with mask on, like you can't see their facial reaction or 
their emotion. It's just hard to communicate with your mask on. So I thought that using a transparent mask will help to improve the communication during this pandemic. So just a disclaimer, I am not a doctor or a nurse or someone that specializes on any healthcare related things. So I can't assure you dudes that this mask is effective and can be used as a protection from the virus. But based on my own observations, I've seen establishments using plastic cover to protect their employees from the virus, like malls, uh, grocery stores, uh, bank tellers, and also on restaurant counters. So I thought that this kind of mask will be possible to protect you guys from the virus, but just like what I I'm not a healthcare professional or whatever, so it's still up to you guys if you want to try this out. But all in all, this is just for fun and, you know, it's not bad to look at the bright side of things despite of all the negative things that are happening right now. Hope y'all enjoyed this video and do, y'all know the drill. Like this video if you like it. Humor has it, if you click the subscribe button, it will turn into gray. I'm not sure. Maybe try it and comment down below your result. And yeah, comment down below if you guys are gonna try this. And if you guys did try this, tag me on my Instagram. I'll see you on the next one. Peace!